Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I am creating two eye looks with this beautiful palette right here, the Nomad Cosmetics America's Parks palette. And I will be creating multiple looks videos with all of my Nomad palettes, probably two looks per palette. Um, I don't know that those are gonna be back to back to back. You know, I have another palette that's coming to me that I've been waiting for for months that as soon as it gets here, I'm gonna start filming with. But you know, you'll, you'll see the multiple looks videos with my Nomad palettes coming up over the next month or so. But isn't this just a gorgeous eyeshadow palette? The color story, especially the greens, have my heart. Now I've used this, I think, twice on my channel. I've used it, I think, three or four times off my channel, but it's been several months since I've used this palette, so I'm really excited. And what I did was I put a, a poll on my community tab, or my community, yeah, my community tab, and I said, uh, which Nomad palette would you like me to start with? And most of the votes went to this one, so that's why I'm starting with this one. And uh, in today's look, of course, I will be focusing on the greens because I just wanna dive right into them. I think I'm gonna be using these shades up here and then these two right here. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here called Old Faithful and put that towards the front part of the transition area. This shade called Everglades, yeah, is gonna be going towards the latter half of the transition area. This is going in my outer V. This is called Blue Ridge Parkway. And then I'm gonna put a combination of these three shimmers I'll tell you what the shades are as I apply them. And maybe maybe that too, I don't know, we'll see. But definitely the greens, going for the greens today. I do have my eyebrows done, and this eyelid of course is primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. So again, I will be starting with this shade right here, Old Faithful, putting that towards the front part of the transition area. You know, I, I wanted to do these multiple looks videos with my Nomad palettes uh, last year, and I just ran out of time. Uh, but what I'm really excited about is the fact that I just did my palette collection and declutter videos, got rid of the palettes that I'm just not using or reaching for. Uh, I have a lot left in my collection to use, but my goal is really to use all of the eyeshadow palettes I kept throughout the year of 2024. That's, that's what I want to do. And I'm currently putting all of my palettes onto a spreadsheet and then I'm just going to start ticking them off, you know. I also put my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters on spreadsheets as well. Oh, and I also want to just call out the elephant in the room, which is my little friend on my nose here. I kind of look like Rudolph today. I don't know how that happened. I woke up the other morning and I'm like, oh, got a little friend on my nose. And of course, I can't just leave it alone. So, hee <laughs> hee. I will be covering that up when I put my base products on, of course. I hope it covers well. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't worn makeup in a week, I think, over a week, something like that. So I, I don't know, maybe my face needed makeup. I don't, I don't know. Usually the makeup is what can cause me to have breakouts, but this time around, it was not uh, the makeup's fault. It's just my skin went a little haywire. And this shade is absolutely beautiful. It really is. It's a beautiful, uh, more mustardy yellow on me. Oh, I guess it's pretty mustard in the pan too. I mean, it's pretty true to Pam, but it's really nice. I really like this. I love this palette. Oh. <laughs> so now what I think I'll do is put the shade here, Everglades, towards the latter half of the transition area. And uh, my dear friend Andy, Andy does stuff, she sent myself and Leanna Dalton um, a template for spreadsheets. And that's what I used to put my... Um, blushes, bronzers, and highlighters on. So my goal for that, of course, is to just use, I just need to leave the palette open. I always shut it and then I have to mess around with it. Uh, my goal in putting all those things on a spreadsheet is to use all of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters as many times as I can, just kind of cycle through them throughout the year of 2024. And then at the end of the year, if not before then, I'm going to look at possibly decluttering some of those things depending on um, how they're performing, how I felt about using them, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I did not do my collection videos for other makeup products in my collection, like blushes, bronzers, highlighters, mascaras, lipsticks, blah, blah, blah. I did do that, uh, is that the end of 2022, I guess I did that. But I just, I don't know, I really haven't, I mean, I've gotten some blushes and stuff, but I, I don't know. I just didn't really feel like going through all that because I don't really want to declutter anything right now. But after using them, like really using everything, I might change my mind. You never know. 
And this is such a beautiful green shade. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's got a little bit of yellow in it too. So it's, I think it's jiving real well with the Old Faithful shade. Yeah, this is nice. I love it. Uh, this is the colors of the Oregon Ducks. So I am definitely showing my Oregon Duck love with this eye look today. I think that looks really nice. I like how everything looks so far. So now I'm going to go into this shade here. This is called Blue Ridge Parkway and put that in my outer V. And I'm also going to go on a 30 day no buy. That's what I'm going to do. Instead of doing the six month thing, which I did not adhere to at all last year, I want to go on at least a one month no buy, get through that, see how I did. Uh, maybe if I see palettes or makeup that I really want to purchase, like maybe making like a little list of that. Uh, and then if I really feel like, okay, I, I got to get this product or this palette or whatever, then if it's still available, I might go ahead and get it the following month. But if, if that's not the case, I'm just going to keep giving myself the 30 day chunk of time to get through without purchasing anything. Uh, I do have some single shimmers from Davina that I picked up over the Christmas holiday. They were having a really good sale. I'm gonna take this into the yellow just a little bit. They were having a really good sale. And so I was like, oh, I've never tried them before. So I thought, yes. And I'm gonna be filming with those soon too, that probably next week. Really cannot wait for that. Um, and then I also ordered uh, a palette from Unearthly, the Not Normal palette. Uh, Lana Dalton highly recommended that. And I was like, okay, because they were having a really good sale too. And I also picked up, uh, I thought I had picked up Sorcerer Smoke, Sorceress Smoke um, from Unearthly. But when I did the order, uh, I got a credit back into my bank account for it. And I thought, well, that's weird. What happened? And I went and looked and it was not available. So I was like, yeah, crap. But I mean, it's okay. The Not Normal palette was really all I needed. I just was taking advantage of the 50% off sale, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not like upset about it or anything. Now I'm going to take this brush, nothing additional on it, and just blend out that edge around the uh, outer part of the Blue Ridge Parkway shade just to make that look a little nicer. So, you know, that that's coming to the uh, Unearthly palette. But what I'm really excited about beyond excited about the palette that I mentioned earlier, the one I've been waiting for for months, is the Saints, Angels, Sinners, and Not Your Basic Steph, Steph's Pure Palette. <gasps> That's on its way to me right now. It could be in my mailbox today, actually, and I'm just over the moon to play with that. Steph and I are going to collab with it, and then I'm going to do like a multiple looks video with it too. So <sighs> so the Nomad palettes are probably going to get pushed aside as soon as that gets here. I thought about maybe waiting to start my Nomad multiple looks videos, but you know, it doesn't matter, who cares? Nobody cares, no one's gonna be like, well, you went out of order, no one cares. So now for the shimmers. Uh, these two are pretty similar when I swatch them, but I think I am just gonna go ahead and use all three. I'm gonna start off with this one. This one is called Acadia Lighthouse, I think, and I'm gonna put that right there, and then I'm gonna put this one here, and this one is called Ho Rainforest, and this one's called Cuyahoga Valley, I believe. I, I just, I know I complain about this every time, but I wish that brands could uh, make it so you could read the shade names for those of us that are visually challenged. That would be nice. So yeah, I just, I think I'm going to be doing lots of multiple looks videos, trying to, you know, really get some really good use out of my, uh, where's my spray? I don't know where my spray is. Huh, I moved a bunch of stuff around and now I can't find it. I don't think I need it though. I think mean, this will be fine. Uh, I just really want to, oh God, that's gorgeous. Oh, that is so beautiful. Very metallic green. Sorry, that just took the words right out of my brain. I just really want to get use out of my collection. You know, of course I want to get new makeup here and there. Of course I do. But um, I just really want to use what I have. And uh, I, I know that like the algorithm or the populace here on YouTube just is super into new makeup, new makeup. And I am too. Of course I am. But uh, yeah, it's just really important for me to use what I have. It really is. And of course, I have shimmer way up there because my eyes are hooded, but uh, I'll probably go back and fix that a little bit. That is so beautiful. So now what I want to do is put the shade, the whole rainforest, right in the center. And I think what I'll do is just clean this brush off a little bit because I really like this brush. I don't even know where I got this brush. Just a cheapy little brush that I got in a little set. I'm going to go into this shade. This is beautiful. I do want my spray for this. 
uh, hold on just a second. I'm going to go see if I can find my spray. Voila. I found it. It was over on my little shelfy thing over there. Uh, when I did my collection and declutter videos, oh, that's so pretty. Well, I mean, they are similar, but this one's brighter. Okay. I feel a little bit better. But I thought this one looked exactly the same across the lid, but it's not really. Uh, when I did my collection and declutter videos, I took everything off my desk, which was good because it needed to be thoroughly cleaned because I hadn't done that in a while. So yeah, I just didn't grab everything I needed before I sat down to film here, which is you know, something I do on occasion. Something I do. If you're looking for super organized, this is not the channel for you. And you know, I know that uh, some of you watching this may have watched my collection and declutter videos. So if you see anything that I kept that you'd like for me to use on my channel or in a video, I'd be happy to do that. I mean, I don't, I know that tutorials really aren't that huge anymore. People don't really give a hoot about tutorials, but I love to do makeup looks for you guys. Uh, and I love to watch people create makeup looks. I love tutorials. I always have. I love how that looks. Okay, so now I want to put this brush down and grab a different one to go into the yellow shimmer. I'm going to use this one right here and go into this Cuyahoga Valley shade. I think that's how you say that. I could be saying that totally wrong. I have been to Yellowstone. It's beautiful. I'd love to go back. My husband's never been, so we've talked about going to Yellowstone at some point. Maybe when my grandson gets a little older and going as a family, all of us. Oh, this is so pretty. What I love about the shade too, is it's got this really pretty pink shift to it. So it's, you know, very bright yellow, but then it's got this beautiful kind of baby pink shift. It's really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking like an Oregon duck today. Huh. When I go to work today, I'm sure one of my coworkers will say, oh, Oregon ducks. Yeah, fan? Yes. And it's, it's funny because my son goes to Oregon State University, which is the arch nemesis of the Ducks, right? Even though we're in the same state, like it's just kind of like Washington State versus the Huskies. You know, they, they're rivals too. And my mom graduated from the University of Oregon and my dad graduated from Oregon State. So anytime the Ducks and the Beavers, that's their mascots, would play each other, my parents could not speak to each other throughout the game. They'd have to wait, literally, like sit in opposite rooms unless we were going to the game. My dad would never go to the games, but my mom and I and the kids would often go to the duck games. Uh, but if we were home watching a game, like the Civil War game is what we call it, my parents would not speak to each other the entire time. And, um, you know, my son had always planned on going to the University of Oregon, but as he got older and stuff, I don't know, he just really thought it would be better to go to Oregon State. Now my mom, of course, has passed away. And so uh, I don't I don't know if she knows that he goes to Oregon State, but we laugh about that all the time that my mom probably would have disowned him as her grandson because he goes to Oregon State. <gasps> so funny. Oh, and I also am gonna be doing a look for cute baby, Jan's grandson again. He asked me to do uh, a black and gray look or black and silver, black and gray, I think, on my eyelids with an orange lipstick. So I'm gonna do that, very Halloween looking. Uh, I'm pretty much done with the shimmers. God, they look gorgeous. But I am going to go back into this, what is it? Blue Ridge Parkway and put this back out here just to kind of incorporate it into the shimmer a little bit better. And I really like this look a lot. I love it. My favorite tones, really. I mean, the greens, especially. Yellow, yellow I like yellow eyeshadow. It's not necessarily my favorite, but I do like it. I have a ton of fallout. So I'm going to go off camera, clean this up, do my other eye, lower lash lines, face, all the stuff that I always do, and I'll come back. This is finished look number one, and I love how this look turned out. The greens are just so good in that eyeshadow palette. I'll show it to you again before I wrap this up and move on to look number two, but let me show you just a few things I threw on my face for my finished look. On my lips, I use the NYX Professional Makeup Slip Tease in Beyond Basic. My daughter gifted this to me. And I just think this is a beautiful lip shade. I really do. And I just went a little bit more neutral uh, with my eye look today or with my lip color with the eye look today. Love this. For my mascara, I use the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. This is an awesome mascara. I'm loving it. And then for my lower water lines, I did a combination of two things. Um, I used two uh, cream gel liners from Beauty Creations. This is in the shade Lime Time, I think, right? Oh, uh, where is it? 
Lime Time, which I don't really understand because it's yellow. I've said that before. And this is in the shade Shamrock. Started off with this and I don't know, it just kind of acted funny. It kind of like lumped up a little bit. I was like, what? Usually it doesn't do that. So then I threw this over the top of it and I, I don't know. It's not the greatest lower water lines I've ever had in my life, but I don't know, man. These usually work really good. I don't know if I had something weird in my eyes. I don't know. And then for my upper lid, I use my She Glam Fell Tip Liner in black. I love this. So now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette, Nomad America's Parks. Oh, the greens in here. They're so good. I loved both of the green mattes, loved this yellow matte, and loved all the shimmers. So fun. And actually, you know, I, I swatched them, swatched these two shades before I sat down to film. And I was like, well, they're kind of similar. But really on the lids, I mean, they do look kind of similar. But this is a little deeper. This has a little bit more vibrancy to it. But, oh, I cannot wait to create another look with this. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get on to look number two. So here we are for look number two with the Nomad Cosmetics America's Parks palette. <laughs> and, you know, the shades that I didn't use yesterday for this look today that I will use are more neutral in tone. So I think what I'm going to do is use these three shades. This is a really pretty kind of like purpley brown. This obviously is a more like mid-tone brown. And then we have this shade here, which is this really pretty duochrome kind of like, I don't know, these two colors together is kind of what it looks like to me. And then I think what I'm going to do is use this shade here next to that. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to use this shade or this shade towards the front of the lid. I don't know yet for sure. I'll figure it out. And I was thinking about maybe popping this in there too. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to use these two. So what I will do is start off with this shade right here. This is called, I think it says half dome. I don't know. It says half and I cannot read the other word. I hate that. I feel like such an ignorant jackass. But I do have my brows done and this eyelid is primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. Okay, so I will grab a brush here, and I, like I said, I'm just going to start putting this down in my transition area, just a little bit of it. I'm not going to get it too, too uh, saturated in pigment, the brush. And I don't know, have I used this shade before? I may not have used this shade before. It has been way too long since I've used this palette. And, you know, the thing is, is that uh, I really, truly love my Nomad Cosmetics palettes. And I don't know, I just had this need to just show them some love, you know? And uh, I know, I've heard a lot of people talk about the fact that multiple looks videos are not very popular here. And did I already talk about this in the first look? I don't even remember what I talked about in the first look. But you know what? I don't really care about that because I really like to do them and I really like to watch them. They're really fun. Because then, you know, you can get some ideas of what to do with palettes, you know. And I know that, you know, probably some people don't need any ideas of what to do with palettes. They're like, I know what to do with the palette. Give it to me. Let me show you. But, um, I don't know, sometimes I just need the, the inspo. Not that I'm an inspo. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying that that's one of the reasons why I love multiple looks videos is because I do need some inspiration sometimes. So now I want to deepen up the outer V and I'm going to go into this. And I think this one says South Pine. I hope that's what that says. It's just so strange because I was the one in my family that had the best vision, like my whole life. Uh, both of my parents had horrible vision especially my biological dad. Oh boy, his eyesight was awful. Like one eye saw up and one eye saw down and then he was colorblind and also, um, uh, I don't know, what was he, farsighted? I'm farsighted. I see better far away than close up. But he had, you know, this, the wackiest eyeglasses prescription I've ever seen in my life. And then my mom had been wearing glasses since she was like, oops, I got a fuzz on my face. I don't know what that was. Just a little thread or something. Uh, my mom had worn glasses her pretty much her whole life. I think she got glasses when she was like, what, in high school maybe? Uh, and I always felt like so cool because like I have the best vision and I can see better than everybody. I mean, everyone in my family, even not just my like immediate family, but cousins and aunts and uncles and stuff. Like when we were together... I was always the one that was asked to read like really small print or something that was far away. You know, oh, Erica's got the eyes of a hawk. She'll tell you. She'll read it for you. And now that is the furthest thing from the truth. You know, it's just, 
it's so irritating to me. And you know what? I think I'm going to do a little different things with the shimmers here because these two tones, I don't know about the oranginess. We'll see. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, now it's just unreal how bad my vision is. And I do wear reading glasses. I have to wear reading glasses or I can't see jack squat at work and if I'm reading and whatnot. Uh, but that never used to be the case. It's just depressing. It really is. I mean, you know, there's worse things in life. I get it. But it's just so crappy when you can't read things. And I, I really want to get like a magnifying glass. I think that would be even cooler to have is a magnifying glass. Because with palettes like this, when they're written in cursive and they're teeny tiny, I just can't see them. Even with my glasses on, uh, I still can't really see them. And I don't want to sound like an ignorant moron because I don't know how to pronounce something or what the shade name is called. And I want you guys to know what the shade name is. And I don't know. And um, I totally forgot to mention that this palette is no longer available through Nomad. I don't know why I forgot to mention that. I just did. And when I posted pics of my look that I did yesterday on Instagram, there were a few people that were like, I'm so sad that this palette's gone because I didn't get it. And I wish I had. And I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess, you know, with certain brands, it's just like, I think they get a limited stock of certain shades, maybe. Uh, and maybe as time goes on, I'm going to go back in with this brush, just kind of blend that out. And maybe as time goes on, they're not selling the palette as much as they were when they initially launched it. I don't really know exactly what goes into a brand determining, um, you know, how long they're going to sell a palette for or whether or not they're going to discontinue it. I don't, I don't really know. But I feel like this palette was very popular, wasn't it? I mean, I love it, of course. But I saw tons of people use it and have it and stuff and rave about it. So I don't, I don't know. I guess, you know, they just, they make new palettes and they feel like, like I said, they just maybe don't want to have these shadows in stock anymore, particularly. I don't know. So now here's the, my dilemma. Uh, this is pretty cool toned and these aren't necessarily, I wouldn't say they're cool tone shades. I, I'm going to use that. That is called Big Bend, I think. Uh, so now I'm wondering if I should use these two together. That's called uh, Mount Denali. And I have used that shade before and it's gorgeous. But that might look, that, I don't know. This These two might look really cool. I, uh, I'm going to start off with a shade here called Big Ben and put that right here. And then I'll, then I'll figure it out, I hope. It's just when you have a palette like this and there's so many beautiful shades, sometimes it's hard to pick which one you want to use. Another thing, I got Steph's palette, the Not Your Basic Steph and Saints Angel Center's Steph's Pure collab palette. <gasps> that arrived last night. And I got home from work and my husband's like, you have a package from Darcy Stryker? I'm like, that's my palette. That's Steph's palette. Not my palette, but you know. My palette, yeah, I mean, it's Steph's palette, but it belongs to me now. <laughs> you guys are like, we get it, Erica. Uh, and I just am so excited to play with it. And so Steph and I are going to collab with it next week. Yeah. And then I'm going to do like a four or five looks video with it too. This is so beautiful. Gosh, this is a beautiful shimmer shade. It's very duochrome. It's got like that burgundy or purpley brown and then the kind of more... Uh, warm tone brown or not warm tone but just maybe uh, sometimes warm and cool and all that stuff I've mentioned is not the easiest for me to figure out but this is so pretty it's almost got like a peach in it too oh that is gorgeous you know what I think I'm just gonna do I think I'm just gonna put this shade down this one is called mammoth cave I'm pretty sure I mean these two might look really cool okay Back up. I'm going to put this one down first. This is called, it's the something. I cannot read it. I really can't read it. God, I feel like an idiot. I'm going to put that one down first. I And I don't ever keep the boxes for my palettes, which is probably kind of dumb, but I, I just don't. And so it's probably easier to read on the palette or the box. I, I don't know what the shade is. If somebody knows what that shade is, please pop it in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. And I feel bad that I can't read it, but I just cannot read it. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Is it nice? Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's cool. I do like that. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. 
you know, I just, I like to do different things sometimes and put shades together that maybe, not that they don't go together. I don't really want to put shades together that don't go together, but you know, maybe a little bit, just see if I can make it work. And this uh, brush is getting loose. I'm gonna have to glue it back. I have the best nail glue in the world that Jan Van told me to get. And uh, I had to glue another brush together with it and it works so well. Uh, I will. I got it off Amazon, so I'll put the link to that glue in my description box. Uh, you guys have probably, most of you I would assume have probably used it because I'm very slow to the party in most cases with things. <laughs> like, I don't know, I've talked to people I know and I'm like, oh yeah, I just tried this or that. And they're like, you just tried this or that? It's been around for years. Where have you been? I'm like, I don't know. <sighs> but it's the best and it, it really does a good job of adhering uh, this part of the brush onto the handle because, the, the, you know, they just... They get weak from being washed and stuff. Uh, my most likely soon-to-be daughter-in-law, she got me a uh, battery-operated brush cleaner. It's really good, really cool. Uh, but you kind of have to be careful with those because if you get the water up too high and it gets that wet, then okay. I'm going to use this shade here, Ma Mammoth Cave, I hope, and put that towards the front. And it's, it's really cool because it makes washing brushes a little bit more fun and a little bit faster, I would say, too. Uh... And the brushes get really clean. The only thing is, is that it says, um, it's like this handle. I'll show it to you in an upcoming video. But it's this handle that comes with these different attachments that you pop the brush into, like this end of the brush into. And then you uh, put it into this little bowl of hot soapy water. And then you, you know, turn it on and it spins around in the water. And then, oh, that's really pretty. I let, Oh, yeah, I really like this combination of shimmers. It's maybe a little strange with the mattes. <laughs> But I do like the combo. I don't know. Well, I'm going to keep messing with it. We'll see what I can do here. Uh, anyway, so you, you know, obviously clean all the stuff off your brush in the hot soapy water. And then you lift it up out of the hot soapy water and keep it on. And it's supposed to spin all the uh, hot soapy water off the brush. And then you just take it. Well, it's not exactly how it works. It doesn't really get all the soap and stuff off the brush. So I just rinse it off in the sink with hot water. And then that's it. But yeah, it's fun. It's really fun. So I'm gonna go back into this shade. And I really like this color combination of the shimmers. It's maybe a little strange, but I do like it. And I'm just gonna kinda feather this back and forth or swish it back and forth to try to get that shimmer edge to calm down just a little bit. I've even thought about maybe taking that shimmer all the way to the end of the lid here, like all the way across. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm gonna take this brush again. I'm going to go back into the shade Big Bend. And I am. I'm just going to take it all the way, oops, all the way out to the edge of my lid here. I think that would look nicer. If I can't get the shimmer edge to tone down with the matte shade, then I just take the shimmer all the way to the end of the lid. So then, you know, my lid's super shimmery, but I love it. I think it looks really pretty. Yeah, I like that a lot better. I think what I will do off camera is take a clean brush and just kind of go around the edge here, just make sure that's nice and blended. But I will go off camera now, do the rest of my stuff. I will come back. This is finished look number two. And I think out of both looks that I created for this video, I think the first look is my favorite. I, I do like how this look turned out. I think it is very pretty. And I'm really glad that I chose the three shimmer shades to go across my lids today. Obviously hemmed and hot about that for a little while. Uh, but I, I do like how it turned out. I just, I love green eyeshadows. So that's why I'm sticking with look number one. Let me know which look you like the best, look number one or look number two. Of course, I'm going to show you the palette again, give you my final thoughts and feelings, like review it for you. But let me show you just a few things I put on my face for my finished look today. On my lips, I use the NYX Liquid Smile. It says LSCL39 on the bottom of it. My daughter gifted this to me, and I just love this shade. It's a really pretty, like, uh wine toned metallic liquid lipstick and I did cover it with a little bit of my cab lip oil just to make it a little bit glossy it is a little drying it is but I love the shade and I love the metallic finish it's beautiful and then for my mascara I did use the Nobu Lash from Nobu Caremetics uh this is getting to the dregs I think but it still works so well and I think it looks beautiful in my lashes and then I used the uh Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof in Ultra Black actually uh, felt tip liner. Love this. Super affordable. And then in my lower water lines, I used one from Morphe. This is a uh, just a uh, eyelining pencil in the shade All Night. It's this really pretty, like kind of 
purpley brown shade and it does work pretty well in my water lines I hadn't used this in a long time and it's it's doing okay so far and then for my inner corner shade I grabbed one out of the sugar drizzle uh, mini glow cube palette I use this one right here it's kind of like greeny gold and a little bit of orange in it I just thought that would look cool with the shimmer shades I put on my lids today so now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette Nomad Cosmetics America's Parks and oh I just wish I could read the shade names that would have helped and not made me sound like such an ignorant idiot but I, I would say that I had more fun with the first look. These shades are just so beautiful. The greens, the yellows, this beautiful yellow shimmer shade with that little nice little pink reflect in there. These two shimmer shades are gorgeous. This match really nice. I mean, that was just a, a more fun look for me to put together because I just love green eyeshadows, but lovely quality of all the shades really. And then for this look, uh, this shade right here, although I did like it, it's very nicely pigmented, uh, maybe not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be or as much as some of the other mattes in here are. This blended out beautifully. And then the three shimmer shades, this one, this one, and that one together. I thought that looked really nice. Really, really a nice combo. Never done that before. So that was really fun to do. But this is just such a gorgeous palette and I wish it was still available. I really wish it was still available. You might be able to dupe these shades and this might be available, I don't know, like on Mercari or Poshmark. I don't really go onto those sites anymore, but if it is available and someone's selling it for a decent price and you'd like to get it, I encourage that decision because this is a beautiful, really fun, lovely quality palette. So again, let me know which look you like the best, look number one, look number two. Let me know if you have this palette and what you think of it. Let me know what shades you like to pull together when you create looks with this palette and we can have a nice love fest for the Nomad Cosmetics America's Parks palette in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will see you soon. Bye! Drop it.